The ng switch directive is pretty much your switch statement in any programming language. The only difference here, of course, is that you render HTML instead of executing some logic. Well, you basically use ng switch when you have to compare against multiple values. So let's take a look at the syntax with a very simple example. I'm going to show you a switch statement that displays if you picked the color red, blue, or green. First, let's create a new property. Let's call this color and initially let this be set to red. In the template, I'm going to add a div tag that behaves like a container for all the switch cases. And this container is the element that we attach the ng switch directive to. So within square brackets, type ng switch. To this, we assign an expression. And in our example, it is going to be the color property. Now within this div tag, we specify the switch cases with ng switch case. So I'm going to copy paste the three cases. In the first case, we are going to check if the color is red. So the syntax is star and then ng switch case is equal to red. So checking with the red color. If this is true, this element gets rendered, which says you picked red color. Similarly, we are also going to check with blue and green. So ng switch case is equal to blue or ng switch case is equal to green and the corresponding text. You picked blue color or you picked green color. Now, since we have picked the color to be red, if we save this and take a look at the browser, it says you picked red color. And if I change red to blue, in the browser, it says you picked blue color. Now, sometimes you might want to handle the scenario where the expression doesn't match any of the cases. And for that, we use ng switch default. So I'm going to add a new div tag and this contains star ng switch default and then the text is pick again. So if the color doesn't match either red, blue or green, this particular div tag will be rendered. So let me change the color to orange. If I save this and take a look at the browser, it says pick again, which is the default case. So that's all there is to the ng switch directive. Let's take a look at list rendering in the next video.